Hey, hey, royalty. Hey, empress. Hey, empresses. How are y'all doing today? I pray y'all are doing well, okay? Happy, happy Saturday. This is going to be a little different. I'm going to do a quick message, okay? Because I'm in my car. This message is not going to be long. Let me know if y'all like these little quick messages. I was just told to do a quick message today, so that's what I'm about to do. Okay, I hope y'all are having a beautiful and blessed day. Okay, I'm sending you so much, ooh, sending you so much peace, love, and healing energy. I love y'all so much, so immensely. Let's begin. And may Father God continue to cover you, bless you, and keep you safe all days, always. Angels, ancestors, spirit guides of the highest white light, please come down and protect me. Please come down and give me clear messages straight from the divine. Archangel Michael, Holy Spirit, please come down and protect me, guide me, and keep me safe. And please come down and protect and guide the viewers that have clicked on this video today. What are the messages today for the Empress and empresses, okay, the divine beings that are walking in the light. What do they need to know? Quick message. I can do a quick message. What do they need to know, Holy Spirit? Please and thank you. Okay, focus on your shadow. Okay, focus on your ego. Focus on your shadow side. And I don't mean to say like focus on your ego, but definitely don't neglect, okay, that you have two sides to you. All right, it's like your ego is what protects you. Your ego is like what tells you like to be selfish with your time, to be selfish with like, you know, to take care of you first, to put you first. So your ego kind of protects you in different ways, okay? But it's like, don't don't get caught up in that. Don't get caught up. Don't work, don't, don't get caught up working out of pride or ego or working out of a place of selfishness because you know love is the strongest vibration. But don't forget about yourself. Don't forget about self-perseverance. Don't forget about building yourself up. Don't forget about your needs and your wants and things that make you happy. Don't forget about you. Okay, literally, don't, don't, you. don't forget about you. <laughs> okay, literally, put yourself first because it's kind of like if you're not pouring, if you don't, if you can't, if you're not pouring from, uh, a full cup you're pouring from an empty cup okay or even if you're pouring from like a, a half cup 50 percent you're not going to be your all and it's going to make you feel even more depleted even more i burn out faster okay literally you can have sagittarius in your birth chart this is also cancer energy with the chariot i also see your scorpio energy is here and leo with the strength card Virgo's also here. Wow. Y'all are popping out. So it's something about you having forward movement. There's going to be a lot of changes that are taking place. I think that was water energy that just popped out as well. Yeah, Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy is here. Okay, so yeah, there's, there's definitely going to be energy where you're going to be connecting to your emotions. Okay, this could even be a time where you could be emotional over a relationship emotional over some type of partnership with the two of cups you could really be feeling your emotions or your feelings at this time literally with the water card and the two of cups something could be having you emotional you could be thinking about certain relationships thinking about certain partnerships thinking about you know a certain person at this time yeah this is definitely a spiritual partnership that should that could be coming towards you i could be speaking to someone that is single and it's like you have a clear vision on that's what you want but things can most definitely be hidden from you at this time. It's time for you to listen to your intuition with the high priestess. You are most definitely spiritually gifted. You could be a reader, empathic, very intuitive, okay? It's like you are a high priestess. The high priestess knows all. They, you hold hidden knowledge. Just because you don't say it, just because you don't speak on it, doesn't mean that you don't know what's going on because you do, male or female, you are a high priestess, okay? You're, you're very in tune with up above and you get those messages from up above. So don't ever doubt it. Don't ever question it. I could even be speaking to someone when that you come on this channel because i don't listen to every reader y'all like <laughs> i got be, be my be my for that be, be, be. you don't know who's you know praying behind the scenes and who doesn't who just be talking that smack that really don't like be so it's like you could you, know, you you could be coming on this channel and it's like you could be coming here for confirmation like literally the things that i could be saying okay is literally just giving you confirmation on things that you pick up intuitively things that your spiritual team is guiding you towards it's, it's already giving you like clues on giving you nudges about giving you hints about okay so this that could be really good for you at this time as well it's like you could be learning like how spiritually in tune you are how gifted you are you could be cultivating your gifts and your talents at this time yeah, let's the magician. 
you are a manifester you also taking action at this time your thoughts are creating the reality that's around you virgo energy four five six on the time as i said this you can have virgo in your birth chart you don't have to you know the magician could just be any sign you were just manifesting at this time literally it doesn't matter what's happening outside of you understand that you are safe so you could definitely be around people that could be not of the best you know energy at this time and they could be seeing you manifesting you can even be picking up on energy it was like people could be envious of the things that you're manifesting or the things that you are able to create the things that you are able to do in your life i'm seeing here you are safe it doesn't matter if somebody's sending you projected negative energy onto you you are safe you are protected you okay you are truly loved by up above i'm not about to lie okay literally empress that's the truth <laughs> male or female i don't care what somebody want to think about you what somebody want to send your way your ancestors father god the heavenly realm the spiritual realm loves you so immensely it's not gonna let nothing affect you not gonna let nothing touch you not gonna let nothing happen mm -mm, no they put in too much work into you investment to watch it go down you understand like when you get on your <laughs> when you get on your <laughs> when you get on your spiritual journey now father god is working with you okay because now it's like you're waking up do you not understand father god gonna protect the bag i think i posted this in another reading before he's gonna protect the bag protect the assets protect the bag you gonna protect the merchandise you are the you are precious merchandise you precious cargo it's kind of like when you driving with your baby you don't drive or crazy like when you in your you know you don't drive wild you drive safe you got a special cargo literally it's the same thing like literally father god is pouring into you the holy spirit is pouring into you okay your angels you're cracking up your angels and your ancestors are pouring into you they're not about to let they're not about to mess up the bag you merchandise Okay, and in a good way. Like, you precious gem. You precious cargo. You understand? They, they're pouring their energy into you. They're going to make sure that you're protected. They're not going to make... They're not going to let you go into any type of energy or go into a type of place that will try to... Uh, that will affect you. That won't let you be used by the ultimate vessel by up above. Especially if you're on your purpose. And being that high priestess that you naturally are, you are most definitely in your zone at this time. You'll most definitely get those messages from up above. Okay, Empress? Male or female? You got Libra or Taurus, highly aspected in your brain. Should I look at you? Three is here, right? Who you think that is? Okay, you, the Father, uh, you, Father God, Jesus. Okay, literally. You, Father God, the Holy Spirit. You, Jesus, the Holy Spirit. It's all around you with three. Okay, the Father God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. Father God, Jesus, and your angels and your ancestors. You are collaborating at this time with the three energy. That's about building. That's about collaborating. Okay, that's about networking. That's about growing. That's about building on top of things. Building on top of a, a solid and firm foundation. Literally being this Empress energy, you are in a very imaginative, very creative energy at this time. And you are co-creating with the universe. You are co-creating with source. You are co-creating with Father God. Okay, you are co creating what you want for your life how you want your life to be what things that you want to bring to fruition the connections that you want to cultivate and pour into because literally father god is pouring into you so that you are able to create so that you are able to share your blessings so that you are able to pour into others literally and it has to do with you speaking the truth you are the truth you could be embodying the truth you're coming across as a very beautiful striking handsome powerful energy you are a powerful divine being okay it doesn't matter what people are saying it doesn't matter what people are thinking they mm -mm, literally i cannot make it up thank you father god <laughs> the hierophant like father god got you don't ever don't don't ever worry about that father god is healing you okay focus on healing at this time as well this could also be you drinking more water okay literally you can have Taurus in your birth chart you you pray you are on your spiritual path you're on a spiritual awakening you are on a spiritual journey father god is guiding you father god is literally standing right next to you holding your hand pushing you forward carrying you father god got you don't ever doubt that don't ever question it don't ever be like oh my god am i by myself you're not even if it may appear that way, even if you don't have people like physically around you, even if you may have like your friends and family may not be, you know, the closest with you at this time or they may, you know, be really hidden enemies to you for someone here. OK, so it's like you have, you're doing things by yourself. You're rocking by yourself. You don't really know who to trust. But guess what? You know who to trust in Father God. You know, you could trust in Jesus. You know, you could trust your angels and your ancestors. You know, they got your back. And most importantly, you know, you could trust you. 
Okay, you know you got your back. You're not going to do you wrong. Okay, it's like even, even if you make mistakes, those are just learning, learning experiences, learning opportunities. No such thing as a mistake. It's a lesson. It's either a lesson or a blessing, literally, because each day is what a present. Each day is a gift. Father God is like, each day is a gift. Each day is precious. Understand that. Anything else that you want for the quick message that, they, that you want them to know? The tower, yeah, this could be really shock. Something's about to shock you. This is a divine revelation that's about to come towards you. The tower is, is you seeing Father God. You understanding Father God. You seeing Father God. You There, there is a uh, divine intervention coming in. This is like a, something spiritual is getting ready to happen within your life. Tell me about the tower. Okay. Something spiritual. Yeah. And everything is working out for your highest good. What the devil wanted to do for wickedness or evil in your life, you're going to be able to move forward successfully from it. The chariot. Tell me about this tower for the collective. Yeah. The lovers. This is also getting ready to bring in divine love for you. You've, you've had a major awakening and now you're going to be seeing things differently. You're, this is even going to be a chance for you to like choose better. Okay, choose better in regards to love. Choose different in regards to love. There's exposure that's getting ready to happen with this tower card. Yeah, and, and so this is judgment. This is Father God calling judgment, making a final decision on a situation. You could be making a final decision on a situation. This is you going through a major rebirth. Like I'm thinking of somebody who went through, you You went through darkness. You went through the dark night of the soul and you are being reborn. The tower with judgment and the death card, you could have heavy Scorpio in your birth chart. Or you are somebody who's a true alchemist. You truly a powerful man, a jammer, male or female. Like, I don't want to mess with you. <laughs> Mm -mm. No, you're coming out a true fighter. Literally, with that death card, you went through a spiritual rebirth in different ways with the death card and judgment card. And now you're being reborn. I cannot make it up. You have been reborn. Literally, it's like the phoenix out the acid, ashes. I can't even speak. This energy is so powerful. Like, like, literally, you are being reborn, empress or emperor, whoever you are. This is a very, like, ooh, heavy, deep message. Ooh, this is a little different than how I usually get them. But the ace of wands and the empress, you are being reborn. Like, this is this is a new spark within you. Like, literally, you are, not a, you are looking different. You have evolved. You went through a major transformation, death and rebirth energy with, with the death card. You listen to Father God in regard in regarding to an ending, having a renewal, ending so that there could be new beginnings and you have blossomed or you are on your way to blossom. You could be looking more attractive. Your body could be looking different. Okay. You could be literally coming across as as someone that is not only confident but that knows their worth, that knows themselves. Okay. The Empress is the most beautiful and most powerful in the deck. <laughs> I don't know why my car was listening but the most beautiful and the most powerful in the deck literally the empress is somebody who is striking who is confident who has went through those tough battles who knows how to get it out the mud who knows how to work on self who knows how to cultivate who knows how to create you are truly imaginative okay you are truly creative you have truly evolved in different ways with the empress literally Oh, y'all I see deer yo okay y'all can y'all see the deer can y'all see the deer oh my gosh can y'all see the deer <laughs> oh okay so y'all y'all that thank you father god for showing me the deer for showing us the deer thank you father god okay listen y'all in the comments that's kind of my sign too y'all listen Y'all may need to, we need to, I need to go, I'm, I'm going to have to Google, okay, what does it mean when deer, okay, I am in Georgia, deer, deer, okay, tell me, put it in the comments, what is, what's the significance of deer, and we saw two deers, okay, that's a spiritual animal, y'all tell me, what, tell me about the deer, okay, Tell me, I hope y'all saw the deer. Like, I'm gonna have to rewatch this video. 1441. Thank you, Father God, for, for showing us the deer. <laughs> ah! <laughs>
Okay, y'all. <laughs> oh, man. Let me get back to it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking this is somebody that went through a major renewal and you are, you are popping out so differently. And it was too dear. So you're about to meet your person. You're about to meet someone who has went through a spiritual change, awakening, involvement, who's on their divine path, who trusts in Father God just like you. Okay, literally, that was so beautiful. That was so powerful to me as well. They're so graceful. The way that they would jump in, they were, oh my gosh, like I just had to show y'all. <laughs> But literally, I'm speaking to somebody who's truly unique in every way with the Empress. It's like, it's you're unmatched. People know exactly who you are with your confidence, with your beauty, with your regalness, I'm, your royalty. I am literally speaking to somebody who is royalty in every which way. People can't, it's, it's irrefutable. People can't say, oh, th th you are royalty, male or female. You're going to be getting those messages from up above in regards to who to move on from, how to move, where to go, six of swords to the eight of wands. You are getting direct downloads. Things are going to be happening very quickly for you, very rapidly for you. You're going to be getting those messages straight from up above with the eight of wands. Okay, literally. And it has to do with where you are headed towards with the six of swords. You are moving away from turbulence. You're moving away from conflict. You're moving away from drama. And you're heading straight towards peace, calmer waters, restoration, healing energy with the six of swords. This is direct downloads from up above look at the white flag there's about to be peaceful energy that comes about from you that comes around you with that gemini energy that libra energy coming in taurus scorpio energy is here those are heavy hitters not only is your communication changing away but you are an alchemist okay you are a true alchemist Okay, you also could have kept some you could have kept something secret with that hermit card. You could have been going through a tower and you could be such an OG that you could have not have told nobody with that hermit card. You could have you could have just kept it to yourself, went through a tower, or went through some type of spiritual change. You went through a dark night of the soul, literally. And you might not have told people about it, but they can see the difference. It's kind of like you wasn't shooting with me in the gym. People see this level up about you now, but they didn't see what you had to go, what what you had to go through, what you had to do to literally get to the to where you are okay to get to to get to where you literally are at this time people are just seeing you know th the blessings that god has put over you but they haven't seen your efforts how much you pray how much time how much diligence literally like w the times when you struggle the time when you didn't eat like i was there i get it i understand <laughs> i get it and literally you go to my instagram page you could literally see it where Father God took me from a room from a room for rent, literally, then moved me to my own apartment, my own townhouse that was by the airport, then moved me to the city. Y'all could see it, how Father God brought me from the ground up. Empress energy. So you know in some decks, the Empress is in the the soil. Like they they look a little out of it but she's still an empress and she's plowing because she's plowing her um her what is it her greenery okay like she's she's working the land literally because that's what the empress does puts in a lot of work to cultivate on fertile ground and they get it out the mud they put in that hard work they get it from the bottom the empress has has to go through every single level in, in regards to the four queens to hit that empress energy usually empresses can are have, have very uh, unique walks of life okay people could see them as very beautiful or even males very handsome but they don't know the struggle that father god brought them through to get there so that the glory goes to father god because at the end that empress or the emperor is going to be reigning in father god like it's going to be literally like talking about that that's what happens father god is not going to put you in a place of of He's gonna he's gonna want you to speak on him okay he's gonna want people to understand that where he where you found him or where you reconnected back to him because you know we all walk the father god our entire lives but it's like as we get older we may have st like strayed away from our path of righteousness straight away from the path that father god wanted us to go down so when you go back to father god father god's gonna want you to talk about that when you go back to father god when you find father god again okay literally when you connect back to your like religious your spiritual beliefs and how far he has taken you while you have embraced him you know his hand in your life 
him driving, you know, him him being in the steering wheel, him being in the steering seat. You know, you you could literally. So he wants you to talk about it. He's gonna want it. He's gonna want your your not only just for you to be obedient, but for people to know like it, it's his it's his doing. Like you couldn't have done it by yourself. I know I couldn't have done it by myself. I need Father God. Like I need air. Like. <sighs> I need Father God. He created air. He created. He said, let there be light. Let there. I need him. What you mean? Like, what you mean? Like, hey, I don't mind talking about Father God every day. What you mean? He, he, fuels, he fuels my soul. He remembers to wake me up each day. That is the, that's the little I could do. Talk about Father God. You know what I'm saying? Out of all the billions of people in the world, he remembered little old me to wake me up. He protects little old me when I'm, are you serious? You know what I'm saying? Like, don't forget, like, it, it takes nothing to just say, Father God, you know, you everything. You the alpha and the omega, the beginning and the end. Without you, nothing is possible. Yo, Father, you Father Tom. Literally, you know the, the you know everything. You knew when I was born. You know when I'm going to come back home. To, you know it all. How am I not going to give you fucking praise? You know what I mean? Like, y'all, listen. You you understand, you understand. <laughs> okay, yeah, your home. You're about to be winning in different ways, especially in regards to your security and your stability. With the four of wands, there's something about your home where people are going to know that you're on top. Okay, with the six of wands, you could be moving. You could be getting ready to to move to like a big house, the city, a big apartment, a luxury condo. You could be getting ready to move somewhere. If not with your partner, you're going to just be moving and people are going to be wanting to celebrate this. They're going to be seeing you. You could even be getting ready to move or you're going to be creating some type of stability or security for yourself and you're going to be meeting your partner, okay, in regards to you working on your home, working on, your, working on you know, something that's stable for you. Something is going to be extremely successful for you. It's going to grow. It's going to be big for you. Okay, with the six of wands, you're gonna you're gonna be seeing this, or people around you are going to be seeing this. Not only achievements, but like the work that you put in for yourself to get to where you are, the work that you did with Father God to get to where you are. Father God's hand over your life. It's gonna be irrefutable. People are gonna know how blessed and how highly favored you are because Father God is rocking with you, is working with you. You are not doing underhanded shit to get where you are. You know what I'm saying? People are gonna know this. People are gonna be able to see this with that six of wands. Okay, this is this is recognition, admiration, praise. Get ready for it. Get ready for this level up. Y'all, it is getting dark. I'm about to head home. <laughs> but I did want to, and I could definitely be speaking to somebody who's a reader. Okay, final message. Yeah, you're going to be having equal give and take that's going to be coming in. The six of pentacles to the three of pentacles is the nine of pentacles. I'm definitely speaking to somebody who does it by themselves. That's just what it is. You're so blessed because you do things solo dolo. You do it by yourself. Okay. This is also you collaborating and people wanting to know who you are. People are going to want to collaborate with you. If they haven't wanted to collaborate with you yet, you're going to be getting a lot of different partnership deals, collaboration deals. Or people are just saying, how do I get to where you are? People are going to be wanting to, to, to network with you in different ways. They're going to be wanting to, to collaborate with you in different ways. You could be seeing this or finding this out soon as well. Okay. Literally. Yeah. And this could be a long time coming for someone here with the Knight of Pentacles. It could have been a long time for you to get to this place within your life, to for you to get out of your head with the Eight of Swords, for you to trust. Okay, it took you going through a dark night of the soul. Or Father God put you in a place where you were going to have to be in solitude. So you can connect. You can hear from up above. Literally with the Hermit, you had to go into a place of solitude. You had to be by yourself so you could be able to listen. Okay, like this is all about a spiritual enlightenment. This is also about your perspective on something changing. So you could be, your, your perspective could be changing as to why you could be in a place of solitude. You know you're being protected. Okay, especially if you don't have a lot of people in your energy. You know Father God is covering you because you have very sacred energy. Can't be around ev any or everybody. Okay, especially if you are empathic. You know you're going to pick up. Like people could try to dump their energy onto you. Father God is protecting you from that with the hold up wait a minute time to cleanse time to look at something a little bit differently you know you are by yourself with the the hermit and you could be by yourself or you could be in a period of isolation or introspection is to cleanse your energy in different ways it's also for you to go through a spiritual awakening an enlightenment awakening by the guy really can't connect with you when you are you know getting influenced by a whole bunch of different people around you he likes to get you by yourself 
so he so you can literally learn his voice compared to learning everybody else's voice he wants you to be able to learn and hear his voice so when he feels like you are strong enough to just hear his voice guess what he's going to put you out in front of the masses he'll put you out in front of a whole bunch of people with the three of pentacles because why you'll be able to hear his voice compared to everyone else's voice you won't be confused you won't be conflicted okay especially when the devil tries to emulate god it's very important for you to be able to hear father god's voice directly be able to recognize it four five six on a timer as i said this is also pisces energy so trust if something is being delayed or held up or even trust if you were in a period of isolation because this is going to change the hangman don't just stay you know tied up forever they gain their their freedom by gaining the enlightenment by letting their perspective change by gaining that spiritual knowledge and awakening they go through that transformation of self to free themselves okay literally this is all about you having a clear vision with the king of swords you being able to see things clearly having a clear eye view i hope this resonated with y'all may peace and blessings be to you always and i'll be seeing y'all in the next video let me know if y'all like this